Uh, now, it's a little too dark to show you a live look at the debris on the lake. So instead, I'm going to show you the debris they just took out of the lake. So if you go to Lake Pleasant, you're going to see a lot of debris piles just like this one right here. Can you imagine driving a boat over some of this stuff? It can cause quite the damage. That's why crews are working to try and get a lot of this stuff out so people can go and enjoy the water. Lake Pleasant hasn't been living up to its name lately. It really isn't, man. I go out there paddleboarding, and when I came back, there's just a bunch of debris on my paddleboard. Debris and trash can be seen throughout the lake, and with the current and winds, it's causing a lot of it to pile up at Pleasant Harbor. We saw the water full of logs, muck, and even found a sandal mixed in with some of the trash. Harbor Master Chad Case says many of these boats will have to sit tight at the docks during this time. We feel for those people. You know, the people that have boats right here, they can't motor through this because motoring through this will do damage to your boat. With so much rain and snow this winter, the debris is a drawback. So to get a good look at the situation, we went out on the water. It didn't take us long to find areas like this throughout the lake. Check this out. You're going to see just some floating logs and other debris scattered throughout the water. So you need to be extra cautious if you're taking a boat out, but you also need to keep an eye on, just take a closer look at the water, the sawdust. This can actually cause some significant problems as well. That plugs up the cooling system. Most, most boats are raw water cooled, bringing, they bring lake water up into the, through the water pump to cool the motor. This just clogs it up solid. Some of this debris can be much bigger than what you can see from the surface. You hit a 40 foot log, that's gonna do significant damage. Case says they're working to remove the debris, but it's a long process, which they hope to have a lot done by Memorial Day. It's very similar to you would on an oil spill, except unfortunately oil you can absorb up with pads, can't absorb this up. So we're gonna boom it, same type, pull it towards one of our ramps where we have equipment that can scrape it up and then load her into a dump truck or a waste management container. So there are some areas of the lake that are clear of debris, but Michael and Emma, if you're looking to take a boat out, just make sure you have a spotter with you. The case recommends this so you don't accidentally, you know, boat over stuff like this. They can spot it for you. That way you can get out of the way just in case you plan on heading out here. Back to you. Yeah, my goodness. Steven, where exactly are you right now? Are you right near the marina? Yeah, I'm right by the marina. The water is probably about 100 feet away that way. So. Well, yeah, hopefully they get that cleaned up by Memorial Day. Lots of work to do there, Stephen. Thank you.